Hello, Internet! So nice to see you. Today we talk about the Dorian mode. Now, Dorian is a very common mode. It's used everywhere. It can be used in thousands of different ways. So here, we have to limit ourselves only to a few examples, otherwise this video will be incredibly long. Now, the Dorian scale is made by the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, sharp, G. It's very similar to an A natural minor scale, except for the sixth note that is an F sharp rather than an F. This F sharp is a natural sixth, not a sharp sixth, because if we were to compare this to a major scale, the sixth note will be an F sharp already, so we need to put the natural sign, not the sharp sign, to take it back from the flat six that is in the minor scale. This is one of those little quirks of music notation that can be incredibly confusing, but the only thing we're doing here is to take an A minor scale and then moving the F note to an F sharp instead. If you get confused between a sharp sixth and natural sixth, etc., just say a raised sixth, and then there is no confusion. Anyway, this F sharp note is the heart of Dorian, because it's the only note of difference from the A minor scale, and this note can create some lovely dissonances too. You see, for instance, that this F sharp note is dissonant with the C note, because those two notes form a triton. As usual, the best way to understand a scale is to harmonize it. So let's see what kind of chords we can build on A Dorian. On the first note, I can build an A minor chord, A, C, E, or an A minor seventh chord, A, C, E, G. On the second note, I can build a B minor chord, B, D, F sharp, or a B minor seventh chord, B, D, F sharp, A. On the third note, I can build a C major, C, E, G, or a C major seven, C, E, G, B. On the fourth note, I can build a D major, D, F sharp, A, or a D seventh chord, D, F sharp, A, C. On the fifth note, I can build an E minor, E, G, B, or an E minor seventh chord, E, G, B, D. On the sixth note, I can build an F sharp diminished triad, F sharp, A, C, or an F sharp minor seventh flat five, F sharp, A, C, E. On the seventh note, I can build a G major, G, B, D, or a G major seven, G, B, D, F sharp. If you compare those chords with the chord of the A natural minor scale, you see that there are three chords of difference. The second chord is B minor rather than B diminished, the fourth chord is D major rather than D minor, and the sixth chord is F sharp diminished rather than F major. Changing one note changes three triads, as usual. Now, the Dorian mode is used a lot in pop music, and that's because it's not as dark as the minor scale, it's not as dark as the pure A natural minor A Aeolian scale. Why not? Because we have this fourth chord here, the D, which is major rather than minor. So, for instance, I could have a chord progression that sounds this way, A minor, G, D. Here are two examples. Now you can hear how this A minor G D is much brighter than the equivalent in A natural minor, which would be A minor G D minor. So in Dorian, in Aeolian, in Aeolian I can also play A minor G F. Ooh, 
it's darker. So for this reason, if you want to write a pop song in minor but not be as dark as Eolian, then Dorian is the go-to scale for that. But of course, Dorian doesn't stop there. Dorian, for instance, is used a lot in jazz and fusion. Typical jazzier chord progressions are those. A minor 7th, B minor 7th. And A minor 7, D9. Indeed, this last chord progression is so common and so cliché that we even have parody songs built on that. Now, to make sure that what we play sounds in Dorian and not in Aeolian, for instance, we need to use one of the three chords that are different between Aeolian and Dorian. That is, we have to use either B minor or D major or the F sharp diminish. Well, we already used B minor 7 and D9 in our chord progressions, so let's go and see what happens if we use the F sharp diminish. I'd like to use the seventh chord version, F minor 7 flat 5, because if I spell it out in its note, which are F sharp, A, C, E, I see that this chord can also be spelled as an A minor with a bass of F sharp which happen very interesting possibilities. I could play A minor and then F sharp minor 7 plus 5. Or I could do an inversion of this chord, and so what I'm playing is A minor 7 followed by A minor 6th. Another interesting thing you can do is to play a chord progression starting from A minor, then A minor slash G, which is just an inversion of A minor 7th, and then finally A minor slash F sharp. This can be rounded down, finishing with an E minor 7th. Or a G. Using the F sharp minor 7 flat 5 tend to sound a bit darker than the other examples because it's a diminished chord. I personally think that this is a great sound that is underused in popular music, even if it's used very commonly in jazz and fusion, etc. And so this is a very fertile ground for any songwriter who wants to do something new. If you want to solo on a Dorian, one way, as usual, is to play the full scale. But you can also break the Dorian mode in two or more triads. Two common ways of doing that are to play, for instance, the A minor triad, A, C, E, and the B minor triad, B, D, F sharp. You're gonna miss the G note this way, but that's not a big problem, and it tends to sound quite interesting. Another way to break the Dorian scale down for soloing is to use the C major C E G and the D major D F sharp A arpeggios. And those are but two ways of the thousands and thousands of ways you have to play the Dorian mode. Of course, again, I cannot cover everything about the Dorian mode in this short video. If you want to know more, I direct you to my course, Master of the Modes, where we talk about Dorian and many other scales and modes much more in depth. 
Master of the Mods. It's not a book, it's a complete video course made by guitar players for guitar players. It cannot be a book because it will not work this way. You need to watch the videos and you need to do all the exercises and then through those exercises you're gonna get to know your guitar intimately and the sound of all those mods intimately and then you'll be able to play and improvise over any kind of chord progression and see how to make music with those scales and mods. If you have just a minute, check out Master of the Mods at the link on the top right. If you like this video, smash on that like button, don't forget to subscribe and click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any ideas, feedback, comments, write them down in the comments, I really enjoy reading from you. This is Tommaso Zilio of music 34 guitarcom and until next time, enjoy! <laughs>